sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let him who have understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. And for an greetings, everybody, this is Reverend Jack. I don't snuck in and thought I'd sit and have a little chat with everybody. And I went on back the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims to also check out and comment on this video because this is a video where I'm not going to take their books and sit and quote and unless I need to verses because there's so many verses I can use to quote to show how disgustingly violent and vile they are but I'd like to sit down and I just like to use a little bit of common sense and a little bit of logic but before um, I get into that, I've been informed by a couple of reliable sources that Mr. Super Atheist Brett Keane's now become Christian. I don't know, really don't give a shit because he used me in the past and he used Blue Fire Witch in the past for his little scams that he runs because he doesn't want to work now I've heard he claims he has agoraphobia for those of you that don't know what agoraphobia is it means you're afraid to go outside of your house I have seen several pictures of him outside of his house and I've seen I believe one video don't quote me on that where he shot, where he was outside the house, which kind of makes it either an exaggeration or a lie. But he's always, always, always trying to get people to send him a couple thousand dollars, either for, I'm going to lose my house or I can't afford my Christmas. Well, if you're an atheist, you wouldn't worry about Christmas. But I understand that he's going Christian. Well, good. Because the pagans and the atheists weren't dumb enough to buy into his, his little scheme. So he's hoping you Christians buy into this scheme and send him all this money looking for so he can have a little pity party instead of getting up and going to work. Instead, he sits on the computer all day. But enough said there if you're dumb enough to buy into his old scheme you deserve every penny that you get conned out of to be conned out of because you're a sucker but anyway the logic that I want to sit and talk to you about is all three of the Abrahamic faiths are focused on death, whether it's dealing death out to others or you're denying yourself any pleasure, any fun, or anything else until you die and you have this delusion that you're going to get your just rewards in some imaginary uh, Okay. Here's logic point number one. If there was an Alam or a God or a Yahweh, whatever you want to call him, and he's all loving, caring, and forgiving, as you all like to say, then he would need no place of torture. He would forgive and move on. Number two, you continuously project your indiscretions onto other people, such as all the deaths and cultures that have disappeared simply because people did not want to accept your deity. Number one, your church 
nor you as the individual have no rights whatsoever to force their way on anybody. And torture and death has been used for those first 2,000 centuries and still being used. Look at little children in Africa, little witch children that are being killed by Christians because they won't accept this imaginary deity. Um, and you Christians sit and you bitch and complain about what the Muslims are doing today. Well, what did you do in the past? How about the Spanish Inquisition? How about the European witch hunts, the Salem witch hunts, of which, which people were innocently put to death? Spanish Inquisition, over 300,000 people disappeared off the face of the earth, children included. Cultures and their information and knowledge disappeared off the face of the earth. And you're still doing this to the witch children of Africa. So logically tell me how you have a right to complain about what the Muslims are doing. They know they're doing wrong. At least I hope they know that they are doing the wrong thing, putting somebody to death just because they don't believe identically to them or they choose to be an individual or dress as an individual or what have you. Because if you if your Allah, your God was all this loving, caring and forgiving, number one, there'd be no hell. Okay? Number two, he would tell you to love people. He would not tell you or hand down walls to tell you to kill people because they are different in belief as you. As far as world domination by any of the three religions, never going to happen. There's too many people that have not been indoctrinated and had everything forced down their throat and to the point where they actually believe it. There are people that use their brain and think with logic and they realize that it's a good fairy tale. But that's all it is. Because everything you say about this God Nala your books say just the opposite. However, your religious leaders don't bring those up. And if you're interested in seeing what some of those things that they hide, especially the Satanists get blamed for um, sacrificing babies. But what you need to do is, if you want to know, because I have quoted verses out of your Bible where it is actually Christianity who does that. And all those people that you have murdered in the past and still are, actually, since there is no God, there is no devil, your imaginary devil you are making sacrifices to that Satan whenever you kill somebody because they don't believe in your delusions. But you're not getting it. You're not thinking with your own head. You're not using logic. Something that Mother Nature gave you, yet you choose to ignore it. And you want to blame everything bad going on on your devil. Because don't hand them to me. I know he's a lie, just like your Yahweh is a lie. I'm not that gullible to believe in either one. 
I know for a fact they don't exist. The Bible and the Quran both speak of Abraham and are fathered by Abraham. That makes the Jews and the Muslims cousins. Logic says you should be getting along. What the issue is, I don't understand. And you Muslims think it's okay to kill other people's children, but if a, in collateral damage in war your children get hurt, it's the biggest catastrophe in the world. Your children are no more valuable than anybody else's children. And you're thinking about it all wrong. Logic tells us that children are our future. And all three, the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims, you're poisoning children's head and you're filling their heads with hate. We all have to live on this planet. And at some point, when are you all three going to get it in your fucking heads? That murdering one another only creates an worse situation. And we as a race have raped Mother Earth so swiftly and so completely and you sit back and you blame God for all these catastrophes blaming God for doing this and doing that because this country didn't believe in him that country didn't believe in him there's religions that are centuries older than yours paganism itself gave birth to your stories you perverted them and twisted them around to look something evil, which you're famous for. And if that's what you have to do to get people that are dumb enough to listen and follow your indoctrination, that's so good. But those that don't want bothered with it, what gives you the right to force it upon them? What gives you the right to go knock on somebody's door and harass them with it? That's something that you should keep personal. In other words, keep it in your own heart. Keep it to yourself. If you feel like you need to go to a synagogue, a mosque, or a church, which are merely buildings, nothing special about any one of them, then do so. But you have no right to force your bullshit on other people. And if you sit down and you've read all three of the texts and you had an open mind and you use logic, you would see for yourself. And that's what's happening. More and more people due to the atrocities that are being exposed, thanks to the internet, you can no longer silence the truth and indoctrinate people where they can't go find out the facts and the truth for themselves. So thank somebody something for the internet for people to find out the truth. And that's why all three of your religions are shrinking daily because people are finding that you're lying that they're fairy tale books and they're given concrete evidence, scientific facts that nothing in the Quran or the Bible or the Torah are factual, that they are made up for mass population control and so that the church leaders can put money in their pockets. And the quicker you start checking around, you'll see the same thing. Hordes of people are leaving Islam, Christianity, and Judaism daily.
because they have the guts to go look and use their mind. Christianity and Islam and Judaism, you focus on that. You don't focus on life. You have but one life. And you're focused on either killing people that don't buy your bullshit or you're focused on getting your quote unquote rewards after death. When you're dead and you're laying in that wooden box and you're knocking to get out loose and there's nobody there to turn you loose, then what? Are you going to lay there and say, oh shit, I fucked up? I wasted my life and had no pleasure in my life over a book or use some logic and see the fairy tales for what they are they are fairy tales and your, get, get pleasure out of the one life that you have logic deems that there is no Heaven and no hell, no Allah, no Shaitan, no God, no devil. I mean, it's just impossible. They're all contradictions. They're just there to control you and pick your pocket. Plain and simple. And the quicker you use your head and think logically, the better off you're going to be. I'll give you just a quick example off the top of my head. Sex, according to you three Abrahamics, is only to make babies. If you enjoy it, you're going to burn in hell. If you have any other position than missionary, you're going to burn in hell. If you do it for enjoyment instead of making babies, you're going to burn in hell. I, we as animals are one of the, if not the only, one of the few creatures that have sex for pleasure, not just reproduction or else the females would go into heat every so often, period. That's logic. See, that's one little piece of logic that I'm handing you. You are fortunate you live in a time where that nonsense can't be crammed down your throat. You can go and find the truth. The facts as science proves it. And anybody who depends on a blind faith without checking it out for themselves. I hate to say it, but you are a moron. And you don't use your own brain. And that's the terrible thing. You don't use your brain. You were given a brain to gain knowledge, improve upon it, and pass it to the next generation. However, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, they're taking advantage of science and um, the satanic ways of gaining knowledge and everything, but the scientific advancements that they're so not supposed to. All three of them books tell you that's a no-no because God wanted you or Allah wanted you to say or Yahweh wanted you to stay dumb just to quote one much knowledge brings sorrow much wisdom brings death does that sound like God wanted you to think past a loincloth and living in a cave? No. But you take advantage of everything science has brought to mankind. 
just to further your cave day mentalities. And I'm going, I'm going to go so far as, since the Muslims don't allow freedom of speech on their channel, and Christians don't allow it. Some Jews do, some don't. I'm going to make sure that, yes, I will not allow Islam to have free speech since they don't allow it, nor Christians, nor Jews. But I'm going to tell my aide to allow the free speech as long as it is not abusive. But what I want you to do is I want you to think about what I said. And think about, since we have the internet, you can question, get the answers to some questions. But use your head, not what some other jackass told you to keep you in line and put money in his pocket. Use your own brain. Open your eyes and for the first time in your life, think for yourself. Because even logic dictates there is, there cannot be a heaven and a hell. And if they tell you Satanism and devil worship is the same thing, they have again lied to you. Satanism does not accept God or a devil. So therefore, anybody who follows the Christian deity of a devil is nothing more than a heretic Christian. Plain and simple. So I'm going to challenge all the Christians and Muslims and Jews that look at this Take some time before you comment. Think for yourself for a change. Think outside the book of dreams. The book of terror because it's, they all tell you to kill each other and babies and things. And use some logic. Think logically. If you have to smack yourself on the forehead and go, damn, I wish I would have had a V8 to clear your mind long enough to use some logic. Don't take my word for it. I'm not a Christian minister. I'm a satanic and pagan minister. I don't want you to believe everything I say like they do. I don't want you to be sheep and follow the herd. I want you to become an individual thinking for yourself using logic instead of some delusions that were bought out centuries ago. For your own sake, you should at least check it out. Thanks to the internet, you have access to that knowledge. Your ancestors didn't. Plus your ancestors would have been put to death. And actually, all your books say that if you misbehaved as a child, you were supposed to be stoned. So your parents didn't follow it 100% either. So maybe that's a clue you could look to. And I have spoken to many Christians, and I have to say somewhere between 60 to 70 percent of all the Christians that I've spoke to said the reason they're Christian is they don't want to burn in hell. Unaware that if this God knows what's in your heart, they're going to go anyway because it's not through faith. Same goes with Muslims I've talked to. Jews, they don't believe in heaven or hell. They believe they should do their good deeds while they're on this earth. But unfortunately, Jesus 
which there was messiahs before him. I'll get into that a little bit later. I'm still researching. And Muhammad laid down these wild, crazy stories, believing they were something better than you, when neither one of them were no better than anyone else. I'm no better than you, and you are no better than me. We are all human beings, period. And we have to live together on this planet. So it's time people start using their heads. Because we have destroyed the earth. It's too late for us. Mother Nature is going to swat away those who raped her and put nothing back. No, these disasters are not the end of the world coming. They are merely the planet shifting and trying to readjust as it always does every so often in the cycles that it goes through. But I myself personally hope that Mother Nature does get rid of the human race because the human race has been here for a lot less time than the dinosaurs were. They were here approximately 120 million years and they didn't rape and destroy the earth like we have. And, our, and we have been here in but a blink of an eye in time and we have raped her so bad that she's trying to adjust along with the normal adjustments that the scientific community can prove have taken place in the past and are taking place now 2012 is not the end of the earth the Mayans had calendars going into the 8500s so don't let them play that bullshit trick on you either. Open your minds up. Try some logic. And instead of hating somebody that doesn't believe like you, because each religion has many sects within it. Christianity has thousands. Islam has half a bunch. Judaism has many. But each one of you claim you have a right. Not all of you are right. How about you're all wrong? And you've been proven wrong scientifically. If you need that blind faith to make it through your day, fine. But you don't have a right to push it upon others, nor force it upon them. And that includes your family members. And I don't care if you're Jewish, Christian, or Muslim, you have no right forcing it upon your family. If you want it, you take it. But that's for you. Religion should be something very personal, not forced upon others. So take your time, think, research, with an open mind. Don't have the delusions in your head when you're looking around. Research with an open mind so you can see the truth. And then maybe, just maybe, you could be the one that could help restore some balance to the earth. Because everything works in a balance. And when it becomes unbalanced, we see the disasters getting worse and more powerful and more frequent. So until the next time, hail Satan, hail thyself, bless was born ready motherfucker yo 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 it's
the feast of the blood was sent, I'll leash the beast within. I walk around with the strength of a hundred men. You best to run before I count the ten. Blood dripping from my canine like a fountain pen. I was born ready, motherfucker. <laughs>